Hello, Doll Bedsit Blogger here, and uh, well, I'm a little bit tired, a little sh slight shimmer of a hangover, but nothing too bad, uh, because I went out last night to see a, uh, a Dutch band called uh, the Dead Neanderthals. <laughs> It's like heavy jazz. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that, that and that, their name reminded me, I've been wanting to make this video for a little while, uh, way back in about 2001, 2002, I was flown to Scotland to do some extras work where I was lead Neanderthal for a uh, Discovery Channel docudrama called The The Real Eve. And um, so I thought I'd do an actor's voiceover thing, just like the extras uh, that you get on the DVDs. Ooh, very exciting, isn't it? There's a strong brow ridge over the eye sockets. The whole face is pulled forward and there's an enormous nose. We were flown up to, I think it was Glencoe, to film this, and they said I could be the lead Neanderthal because I didn't have to wear so much makeup. They were short and stocky, very powerfully built. And this nose may have been even part of a mechanism for breathing in cold and dry air. Standing on a cliff edge with my spear in a semi cured deer skin. I was on a song line, I really could feel, I felt, oh, it was a, a beautiful moment. They also did a shot with a helicopter flying up the cliff face, but um, that was one of the most scary things I've ever experienced. They were going, oh, whatever you do, just ignore the helicopter, and there's this really loud thing blowing dust into your face, going, bada, 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 and it's really scary. And um, I don't think we looked like there wasn't a helicopter. We were all very scared. We were living the role. This is the leader of the modern humans, and uh, we looked very similar. It was like a, a version of twins. He was the buff, handsome version of me. While we were filming, there was a park ranger there to make sure that we don't wreck the area because, you know, it's a, a place of special scientific interest and they didn't want us to be smashing everything up. And he was there wearing full sleeve shirt, gloves, long trousers and beekeeper's mask to protect himself against the mosquitoes. And we were running around in semi-cured deer skin and that's about it. If you've ever been to Scotland, particularly the countryside bits, you'll know about the meaties. I have never been so bitten before. I think I was like an exotic cocktail for the mosquitoes because uh, my legs looked like a braille dictionary. There were so many bites on them. The deer was a hand reared one so it was quite used to people and in a way it was quite difficult to get it to run away from me because it's going oh have you got some food for me oh no you're just running after me oh shall I run a little bit oh no no and while I was filming this I fell over and did a brilliant forward roll and landed with my uh, spear in a attack position
There I am, a dead Neanderthal. So let's go back to uh, when I I stopped the uh, the child and the uh, and the modern human female, and I shout Frenum Gish. They'd said to me, shout something at them, and I was saying, what do you want me to shout? And they said, oh, don't worry, just make something up. Frenum Gish. Frenum Gish. And Frenum Gish are two body piercings. I can't show a picture of the Frenum or the Gish. Just look them up. So, there you have it. That was me being a dead Neanderthal. Bye-bye.